Frog's Birthday by Judith Kerr One day, Debbie came home from school and said, It's your birthday, Mark, and we're going to have a party. Mummy is baking a lovely cake, said Debbie, and there will be presents for you too. Oh no, thought Mog. I don't like birthday parties. There will be too many people in my house and too many strange things, thought Mog. There could even be a baby in my house. I don't like babies. They break things. There will be too much noise and running about. There might even be scary things at the party. Birthdays and parties are bad, thought Mog. I'm getting out. And she did. She ran outside into the garden to hide. Mog went to sleep in the tree and had a lovely dream. It was a dream about a party with her family and eggs. Suddenly, Mog woke up to a noise in the garden. It was Debbie and Nicky. They were sad because it was time for Mog's birthday party and they couldn't find her anywhere. Poor Debbie and Nicky, thought Mog. They'll never manage a party without me. And she jumped straight out of the tree. Oh, Mog, there you are, said Debbie. Mog went inside with Debbie and Nicky. She saw that there were no strange people or babies. And there was a wonderful cake just for Mog and a new basket. Birthdays aren't so bad after all, are they, Mog? said Mr Thomas. No, thought Mog, I suppose not.